Stop wasting all that money on testing and start making more money, more profits faster. We're gonna to look today at some pretty advanced stuff. It's gonna be fairly quick, but it's really important things. It could literally transform the way you do business and should help you make a lot more money from your Facebook ads. So where to start? Quickly, ROAS. You need to know what ROAS is. ROAS means, like in this case, um, we spent $80 we made, we sold six um, products. Uh, in this case, it was a book with loads of upsells, and we made a five hundred and sixty-four percent profit. That's ROAS. Five point six four means if this was a hundred dollars, you'd have made um, five hundred and sixty-four dollars. Okay, that's your return on your ad spend. It's basically saying profit okay if you understand ROAS you'll understand I think everything that comes after this but you need to understand what ROAS is ROAS is in this case with this ROAS I put one dollar in and I got five dollars sixty four back that's my return on my ad spend okay and this is four hundred percent or four point three seven ROAS I put a dollar in I got four thirty seven I put a dollar in I got three twenty four I put a dollar in I got two eighty three I got a dollar I put a dollar in I got a dollar sixty back okay all profit all good all happy but you'd rather get five dollars back than a dollar thirty that kind of makes sense okay so let's go to my friend John and John asked a really kind of advanced question, but it's super important that it will change everything for you. Um, he's testing two landing pages, okay? So he's got landing page one that has maybe got one headline. Uh, he's got landing page two that has maybe got another headline. He wants to know which one of these pages is making me the most money. Now that isn't necessarily which page is getting me the most purchases because you may have multiple products on one page. You may have a $7 product, you may have a $100 product, and you may have a $2,000 product on the same page. It's unlikely, but it's possible, okay? So the number of purchases in this case and in many cases just isn't relevant, okay? What we're really interested in is when we spend a dollar to send somebody to a web page how which of the two pages that we're sending traffic to right now is making me the most money back maybe one of the pages is going to make me five times my money back and maybe the other page is going to make me uh, only 60 percent of my money back okay so 500 percent 60 percent and that could be the difference between two different landing pages with and the only difference on those pages might be something as simple as a headline okay see this all the time, okay? One headline can change everything. So we're focused not on the number of purchases, we're focused as, focused on ROAS. And John was reaching out and he was getting a bunch of replies and they were all they were all wrong um, from you know other people on the internet because what he really wanted to understand was he wanted to get the statistical kind of um, perspective on whether or not landing page one or landing page two was the best page, and he wanted to do it with the minimum ad spend. There was somebody with the best of intentions who advised him, oh, you, you haven't got enough purchases. You've only got 39 purchases there. You need at least 100 to make a decision. Nonsense, total nonsense. What we're looking at is statistical differences between the two pages. Sometimes with minimal um, data, like we've got here, you can make quick decisions, okay? Other times, it's like a two horse race and they're very close to each other. In this case, there's a huge difference. You might eyeball that and think, there's not that much in it. But I'm gonna show you how landing page one is 100% more likely to be the winner than landing page two. So landing page one had 7,000 um, people go to the page. Landing page two had 7,800 people go to the page. Um, we're not interested in the number of purchases because one uh, some of the purchases may have been for $7, other purchases may have been for $2,000. So we're not interested in that. We're interested in ROAS. We're interested in this page made a 243% profit. This page made 185% profit. You may think, well, that's obvious. It needs to be this. But statistically speaking, we need to run this through a calculator, okay? We, we can eyeball it and go, yeah, that's probably about right. 
Um, but sometimes you'll be completely surprised by the answers unless you are more seasoned in the art of statistics as myself. So, uh, but I still get surprised plenty. Um, we have this this thing um, called, oh, what's it called? It's, it's something to do with bias. You know, we just have a natural bias sometimes and we think we see things that aren't actually there. But in this case, uh, it's statistically clear. So, 7,094 page, vis uh, page visits, landing page one, with a ROAS of 2.43. We're on a, what's called a Bayesian calculator. Not many people have heard of this. This is gonna change your life. This is a great little website, marketing.dynamicyield.com uh, forward slash Bayesian calculator. You can just Google that. Uh, Google dynamic yield, whoops, uh, Bayesian testing calculator, you'll get it. Um, and I've put this number in as a whole number, 243. It won't accept 2.43, but we're gonna times both of these numbers by 100, make, meaning statistically, it's exactly the same as the information that we're looking at here. So 7,094 visitors, 243 uh, in terms of conversions or ROAS, um, 7790 and 185, 7779, 185, press the calculate button and you can see 99.9% .9 certainty that video, uh, that landing page one is gonna beat landing page two. If the, the chance of that losing that page is a, a whopping 1.33%, so it's never gonna lose. Um, this one, if that were declared the winner, um, the chance of it losing is is basically 50%. So you run every time with this. And the fact that this graph has shown two very separate uh, kind of like mountain tops or, or witches hats um, is a really, really good sign too. But basically we're focusing on ROAS um, because the number of sales isn't important and we're trying to get this data, this decision as fast as possible. We want to go back to, to some ads here to show to visually show you ROAS. We wanna be showing our ads to the people who go to the page that makes this, for argument's sake, 500% profit, or in this case, 243% profit. We don't wanna be sending the, the people to a page that makes 185% profit when we can send them to a page that makes 243% profit. But we have to make that decision based off real data, manageable data. If, for example, here, we were seeing that landing page one was 54%, and landing page two was 46%, then the jury is still out. We don't know yet which is the best page. And it could be that the page that had 46% after a bit more traffic, say a thousand more clicks, um, could end up being the winner. So it's too close to call. And if that were the case, these uh, this graphic would look very different and the, the witches hats would be, wouldn't be witches hats, they'd be like more down and they'd be crossing over each other. And that would be a sign that we still need to wait. Um, we can't have any certainty. But as soon as you get onto this page here and it says variation A is the winner, well, there you go. It's the winner. So this is super high level stuff. This is like how to take your business to the next, 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 next level. Um, it's big. Understanding this is big. It's gonna change your life. It's gonna change business. It's gonna change your profits immensely. All right, if you enjoyed that, um, subscribe. And uh, if you're on YouTube, I show this on different places, uh, this video, but if you're on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, there should be a link to my Facebook group underneath the video, join that. I give loads of free help and advice uh, when I have a free moment. I had 10 minutes free today, so I made this video. Okay, have a good day and uh, chat soon.